keys are important to our everyday lives. Most of us have several keys which open doors to our houses or offices. Keys are small, but have the potential to provide great power. The resurrected Christ is described as key to the unity of the church. The Apostle Paul, for example, could not stop talking about Christ as a source of our unity. He urged the Christians at Corinth to take their focus away from their personal differences and instead focus on the cross of Jesus Christ. In the book of Ephesians, Paul continued his focus on the centrality of Christ by using terms in Christ and with Christ more than 30 times. In these pages, we find that although we come from varied backgrounds and cultures, which might naturally lead to war against each other, Christ's death has broken down these barriers between us. This means that we are no longer strangers, but rather members of the same body. We're of the one family, God's family, and the same household. When we accepted Christ, we're united with Him into one body. As we remain connected to Christ, we gradually are being transformed more and more into His likeness. As a result, we begin to respond to others in a loving and humble way. Union with Christ and unity of the church are therefore inseparably connected. Ellen White describes the link between these two ideas by using the metaphor of the sun. The beams of light closest to the center of the sun are very close together, almost touching. But as beams of light get further away from the sun, they become more and more widely separated from each other. In the same way, as believers move further from Christ, the Son of Righteousness, they lose both their love for Christ and for His followers. On the other hand, the closer we are to Christ, the closer we'll be to other Christians. This week, I invite you to take time to evaluate your relationship with Christ. For only as you're united with Him will you be united with fellow believers.